The InstiHIV-1, HIV-2 antibody test is the world's fastest, producing results in as little as 60 seconds. The test procedure is simple and the test kit contains all the components required for testing. Before using the test, read package insert to familiarize yourself with INSTI and become familiar with universal precautions. INSTI is intended to be used in a step-by-step -step manner with no pauses or breaks during the testing process. First, open the INSTI package and remove all contents from the pouch. All three INSTI reagent solutions are color-coded and numbered for easy identification. Tear open the membrane unit pouch at the pre-cut edge and carefully remove the membrane unit without touching the center well. Place the membrane unit on a level surface. Make sure the tab of the membrane unit is orientated towards you. For sample identification purposes, the tab of the membrane unit may be labeled with the patient's name or identifier. INSTI can be used with finger stick blood, venous whole blood, serum specimens, and plasma specimens. First, open bottle number one, the sample diluent, and retain the cap. Do not open bottles two and three at this time. Position the patient's hand in a way that is comfortable for the patient and allows you to easily press his or her finger to collect blood. The hand should be positioned at waist level or lower. Wipe the fingertip with the provided alcohol swab. Massage the patient's finger in one motion towards the tip to allow the blood to move to the surface. The fingertip will become slightly pink. As soon as the finger is dry, twist and remove the protective tab from the lancet. The appropriate areas to prick the fingers are indicated by the areas marked yes. Hold the finger firmly below where the lancet will be applied. With the other hand, position the lancet. Holding the lancet by the body, press firmly to fire. Release the patient's finger and immediately dispose the used lancet into a proper sharps container. Do not squeeze blood from the finger until you have the pipette ready in hand for collection. Lightly squeeze the finger in one motion towards the tip to release a bead of blood. With INSTI, the first drop of blood does not need to be wiped. Hold the pipette horizontally and carefully touch the tip of the pipette to the bead of blood. Capillary action will automatically draw the blood to the black fill line. Do not squeeze the bulb of the pipette. Hold horizontally and gently, being mindful not to cover the pin-sized hole on the 50 microliter fill line. Add the 50 microliters of blood from the pipette to bottle number one, the sample diluent, by squeezing the pipette bulb. The pipette stem has a pin-sized hole located at the black line. Squeezing the pipette bulb usually expels the blood from the pipette stem. However, if squeezing the bulb does not expel the blood sample into bottle number one, cover the pinhole with gloved fingers and squeeze the bulb again. This should release the sample from the pipette stem. Once the sample has been transferred into bottle number one, the sample diluent, recap the bottle and mix well by inversion. Open the sample diluent and pour the entire contents into the center of the membrane unit well. The sample should be absorbed quickly. Wait for all the liquid from bottle number one to be absorbed completely. Resuspend the color developer by slowly inverting. Mix the solution thoroughly until the reagent is evenly suspended. Pour the entire contents of bottle number two into the center of the membrane unit. The solution should be absorbed quickly. Wait for the solution to be absorbed completely. Open bottle number three, the clarifying solution, and pour the entire contents into the center of the membrane unit well. The solution should be absorbed completely. The clarifying solution will reduce the background to provide more contrast to the spots and facilitate reading. Immediately read the result while the membrane is still wet. Do not read the results if more than five minutes has elapsed following the addition of clarifying solution. When reading the results, make sure the tab of the membrane unit is orientated towards you. Non-reactive result. One blue control spot that is clearly discernible above any background tint should appear on the membrane. The control spot indicates the test has been performed correctly and a human specimen has been used. Reactive result. Two blue spots. One control spot and one test spot that are discernible above any background tint indicates that the specimen contains HIV-1 and or HIV-2 antibodies. Following a reactive test result, HIV confirmation testing should be conducted. Invalid result. The test is invalid if there is no control spot on the membrane. An invalid test result means that the test was run incorrectly or insufficient specimen was added. Invalid test results cannot be interpreted. 
Any invalid test should be repeated with a fresh specimen using a new membrane unit, kit components, and support materials. The INSTI-HIV Rapid Antibody Test Kit is intended for use by personnel in medical facilities, clinical laboratories, emergency care situations, physicians' offices, voluntary counselling and testing programs, and other establishments providing health care. For more information, please visit us at www.biolitical.com.